Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleco and welcome to my Airbnb in Cebu. <laughs> I really have no idea how to pronounce this. I stayed in a couple of hostels in Brashov. It's so nice having an Airbnb because you just have your own space, you can chill. I've been, I'm staying here, this is going to be my second night, so that's why I'm always packing really. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below for this place. I really have enjoyed it. It is about a five minute walk, not even, to the main square. Everything is very walkable here. I've literally just walked around the whole day, so I'm going to link the video to that in the description box below too, because it's just such a lovely little place and I wish I was staying longer. This would easily do more, like two people quite happily, plenty of room to kick around. This is actually the first time I've sat on the sofa, to be honest. <laughs> I love how thick the walls are, and of course the radiators, which do switch on and off, which kind of annoys me. This has been my Airbnb. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I would definitely come back here again, and I would do for longer next time. It's just such a nice little town just to walk around in, and I think especially for solo travel, I think it's fantastic, which I didn't realize upon arrival, because it's so nice when you don't have to to fight with public transport not that public transport is fighting but it adds a level of stress that you're just like I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> and there's also an international airport from here to lock door handles here because I've never come across this before you actually have to lift it up and then you turn the key turn the handle up to unlock it and then it will turn down I didn't know this probably it's very simple for people that live here I just didn't know this been really easy to be in Romania it's I didn't realize that it would be and it's so I would definitely recommend it for a for a solo trip even possibly for a fresh trip overseas somewhere like of all the places I know right but there's so much to do there's a ton of history I mean it's Dracula's land like it's very cool being able to say oh I'm here in Transylvania for the night this place does have a dehumidifier, so I did have it actually shut out. Like close, I closed the door so that I wouldn't hear this, if that's the noise you can hear in the background. My favourite spot might be here because of the heating when it's on. <laughs> because it's so deliciously warm along here. And then whole bathroom including bathtub, which I wish I'd had time to use. But I decided to stay in the Airbnb. It was to do laundry honestly and this place does have a washing machine but it's not plugged in and I can't figure out where the plug is so I just use the sink and that's just fine for some detergent just a little packet at the at the care for and just hand washed and it was totally fine fortunately they even have a drying rack here which is better rather than having to hang it all over the show but I don't mind either which way <laughs> because I'm just in carry-on, which I totally recommend. Got me a little picnic here. It is effectively a picnic. Got the local beer. Got my milk, which I'm totally in love with these biscuits. I've eaten way too many of them, and I'm not even going to say how many packets. I love Milka. Milka is one of my favourite chocolates. If not, no, it's not the favourite. Definitely one of my favourites, and because we can't get it in New Zealand. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love when I live somewhere that I can have milker, which I don't. Oh, wow. Oh, you can, but it's like stupid expensive. And it's like two flavors. So I might as well say I can't have it. Found this video helpful? Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences.